Elizabeth is celebrity co-host Anna Kornikova. Welcome to you. You know Anna as a tennis star. I didn't realize that you have been sidelined recently because of some back injury problems, but you're still playing exhibition games and games for charity, which is lovely. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I still enjoy going on the court every single day, and um, I practice a lot, and especially to keep up in shape, you know, for the charity events and everything. Yeah, because uh, you really have to worry about keeping yeah, in shape. Yeah, you let yourself go, you honey. You really let well, yourself go. Yes, actually, there was a moment after um, I stopped playing professionally, I really had to figure out, you know, what I, what I, what was happening with my body, because after being a professional athlete for so many years, I really didn't have to worry about Right. Anything at all. What I was eating, you know, I was just keeping just in shape with my right. work, yeah. you mm -hmm. know. So uh, it was actually a, a huge kind of adjustment in terms of figuring out, fig finding a new body. And I started having like more curves. Where'd you and find that one? I'd love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that one? <laughs> Found it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have to admit that, uh, and I think a lot of people felt this before I, I met you, walk into hair and makeup today, I had no idea what to expect because you've you've been a hot topic at this table. You burst onto the sand. It was 95 and people had a lot of trouble dealing with the tennis part of you because they you're beautiful and people couldn't get beyond the beauty and I can imagine that uh, and what we I discovered just for the record was you're you smart saying and that funny. Are you saying Martina Navratilova is not beautiful? I think she's very attractive, but she this woman came well, out Billie and you Jean know King. Yeah. There was a different anyway, I, of, it was a different yeah. kind of look. People weren't used to weren't for tennis. used to this. And, yeah, you know, I, I think it's probably a lot of, and gorgeous. That's yeah. it. Or Chris Everett. I think she's pretty, Ilya, but not glamorous Ilya, and gorgeous. There's no, but I think different. what happens a lot in sports is that you you really people in public see your performances and they see you in the press conferences, which you do every single day after each match. Right. And in the press conference, you act only the way you want people to see and you're, you have to be very guarded and you have to be very closed especially being an athlete you don't you can't show your opponents um you're vulnerable i can't say vulnerable. that vulnerable. Yes, 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 sorry. Yeah. Vulnerable. <laughs> exactly yes. uh, you can't show your opponent in those sides of you so you know you only talk about specifics about the match about whatever that so people sense. don't really get to know your personality how you really are how fun you are and everything and for you us, have a big mouth actually and in a good <laughs> way she's like I a chatterbox and quiet. A, no you're no, great no, no. we weren't we weren't expecting you that you're right great with us you know, it's kind of yeah. nice. You walk into the makeup room and you think, okay, I'm going to meet Anna Kornikova. She's this very special, glamorous, gorgeous tennis star. I can talk. And the first thing talk. she says is, girl, and da 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 da